friends welcome back in this video you will learn how to create this plastic bottle there in SOLIDWORKS and we will be beginning from very beginning we will learn how to create the shape and then we will create this uh, these things in which the logo can be placed and then we will be applying fillets at the corners or edges then we will be making this thread so that we can fix the bottle opener at the top so and the last we may apply a decal also on the bottle so so that it may look more cool it. so let's start go to new plane oh, so. go to new and select new part click ok <coughs> now friends in this video we will be using this command the curve through xyz points command I'll, I'm sh I'll show you and what it actually does is if you want if you have some data of a uh, arc you can say uh, with you which you might have obtained from analyzing anything or someone other have may have given you maybe the graphic designer and then you have to import the those 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 coordinates then you you can use this command curve through xyz points i can show you what uh, it actually look like looks like so this is here uh, a file for the for which i can use for importing a curve so you can see here the different set of coordinates <coughs> and uh, you can also make one of your one on your own by just typing in the different coordinates or different points so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 13 points on in total and a spline is created in the a curve is created in the SOLIDWORKS by joining all these coordinates so we will be importing this this curve in our video so go to curve select curve to xyz points go click browse and browse the file it can be of extension .txt the one which you create in notepad or dot sldcrb that is sold works curve so i'll double click on it and you might see the preview and now i'll click ok so we have imported the curve now go to the front plane i will go normal to it and then click sketch and now i will select this convert entities option click on convert entities and select the sketch what actually this convert entities button does is it it projects the curve onto the plane on which on the plane which you are currently working so i have projected the curve now we will grab a center line Press escape to drop the tool. Go to features. Click on revolve both ways. As the name implies, it convert the. It, uh, it helps in converting your sketch into a revolve feature. So it says the sketch is currently open at thin non-evolution to add a close sketch. Would you like the sketch to be automatically close? Click yes. Wait, I will just close the sketch myself. Otherwise, it would create a thin feature which I don't want. Just join it as it, these vertices to the line. Now go to features, click on both ways. 
yes now we have what we wanted here you can increase or decrease the amount of extruded part which you want I'll show you wait for a second let me just rotate it and yeah so if I decrease the angle you will see that my material gets removed but I want it to be complete 360 degrees so type in 360 click yes and now we have the basic shape of our model so now we are ready to proceed further first we will be extending its neck so I'll click here quick sketch and I will sketch on this plane now I will again use the convert entities to project this this circle click on the circle adjust the circle yes here now you see that that the edge turned black so it implies that we have projected it now go to features click extrude both space and yeah 15 mm will be sufficient so now we have the bottleneck also now we, we may work on the you can say the label part we can give room for our label by designing a cool outline for it so I'll be grabbing my front plane sketch go normal to it and grab the center line extend it to the origin now you can draw the center line which you want I'll be keeping it simple as as simple as I can I'll not make it much fancy now I will mirror the entities on this side to this side in the entities to mirror I will select my sketches mirror about I will choose this I have this now yeah, yeah. it should work so now exit the sketch I'll zoom out a little bit and now I want this, this sketch I want to project this sketch on this face so for that you need the help of this project curve command if you do not see this command in, uh, in the solarworks then you can search commands here so type in project curve and then you will have it then click on the project curve select sketch on faces and click the sketch and in the face click it click on the face so now you uh, you see that you just projected the sketch onto the face so hit ok and now you have sketch on the face so now you are ready to proceed I will be selecting my right plane click sketch go normal to it <coughs> just zoom in and I will grab the circle mm, yes I'll be giving it some dimension. Set it to three or two point five mm should be enough. And I'll be adding a relation between this circle and this curve, the pierce relation, so that the circle always stays. The circle center always stays at the center. Uh, on the this you can say the curve the curve which we projected on the space so now what we are going to do is actually again using the swept both base command so 
click on swap boss base in the profile select the circle and the path select the curve click ok and now you have a label boundary but it's not finished we will be filleting it so we'll begin by filleting the bottom click on the fillet select variable radius and the atom to fillet select the lower edge click on the points which you are seeing here and then you can assign the radius values maybe for the front I will give it 10 mm here maybe 5 mm So now we have a nice round billet here at the bottom which is looking pretty good. Now I'll be filleting this the label holder to fill it and select the inner edges first. Constant radius and give it 2 mm. Yes, and now exactly for outside. We have the outside boundary. Again, 2 mm. And I'll show you. Turn to the shaded mode. Now I can see that we have nice round fillet which is which have just increased our appearance of our model so now the next thing which you are going to do is performing the shell operation so that I can have the total model from inside so to, for that click on the shell command here in the faces to remove select this face so now your material will be removed with respect to this space so shell command will be proceeding in this direction <coughs> and I want my bottle to be thicker in this section than this because a bottle <coughs> sorry, because a bottle neck is a very critical critical part so in the multi thickness setting I will select this space and I will give it, give it value 1.5 mm and here in the this space I will be giving it say, I think it's very less let's see the preview no it's ok and now Return to section mode so that you can actually see what is happening here. So you see that the bottle has more thickness here than this. It's 1.5 mm here and 1 mm here. So exactly what we are what we were working on. Now the remaining part, yes, the thread. So now we will draw some thread. Click on this face, reference matrix select on plane, and I will flip the direction on the plane, and I will set a distance to 1 and say 1 and <coughs> yes, and I will click correct. Now I will sketch on this face and select my outer circle and convert it so that I can project it onto the plane 
now friends we just have to curves and select helix and spiral reverse direction and now you can draw the helix I will select it to height and evolution I will decrease height to 5 mm and I'll increase the revolutions yes now again I will go on the front plane sketch sketch grab this circle smart dimension we gave it some dimension inside 1.2 mm I think it will not work but let's just try exit the sketch oops I forgot to write the relation okay, edit it click on the center click the sketch and appears so you need to take care of these little things while working the while working the CAD software click start close space in the profiles like this in the path like this and click. so friends <coughs> we are done we are done and hide all things so you can have a view of it it's pretty nice bottle with a nice fillet all around Maybe in the next video we will work upon the cap <coughs> and we will make the final assembly so that the bottle looks complete and yes we may add a decor also if we add a decor go here <laughs> let's give it the warning sign saying it's critical not to use it yeah it so that maybe this yes so it looks like <laughs> as if it contains poison or something <laughs> so nice little water thank you guys